Hi, I'm Jacob from Warm. While most of this series has been looking at energy use in our homes, we're going to extend past the walls a little bit now to take a look at transportation. Transportation costs are significant for most homes. When you leave your home, you still need to get to work, school, shopping, and the rest of the world. Almost 20% of the average American's annual household budget goes to transportation costs. So we're going to take a look at the simple steps that we can take to save money on our transportation. Let's start with the car. Whatever kind of car you drive, there are probably some simple steps you can use to save on those costs. The first step is to make sure your tires are properly inflated. This simple step can easily add 5% to your fuel efficiency. You can typically save from $50 to $150 a year with just this step. The cost of doing this is around $5 a year. That's incredible savings for very little effort. But if you don't do it, you'll be throwing that money away. Simple driving habits will get you pretty far as well. The first is to drive as steady as possible. Constant speeding up and slowing down will burn up gas a lot faster. Using cruise control when driving on uncrowded freeways can provide 5 to 10% fuel savings. When you've stopped at a light or sign, start driving with gentle and steady acceleration. Stop using fast starts and you can improve mileage by 12%. With gas at $3 per gallon, this single step could easily save you over $200 a year. This is an easy way to start saving today and it costs you nothing to do. Slowing down can save a lot too. The EPA reports that a car or truck generally gets its best mileage around 55 miles per hour. When you drive 70, you could lose 25% of your fuel efficiency and you lose a third of the efficiency at 80. For a car that's expected to get 30 miles per gallon, driving 80 most of the time could cost over $900 a year. Also, turn off your car when you're not using it. Unnecessary idling burns gas without getting you anywhere. Millions of tons of carbon dioxide would be kept out of the air if U.S. drivers just cut their idling by 10 minutes each day. Finally, keep your engine properly tuned. Minor repairs to your engine can sometimes improve mileage by 15%. That could easily mean $300 saved in gas costs over a year. Of course, if you're buying a car, it's a great time to look at fuel economy. As gas prices continue to rise, those MPG ratings can show you real savings. At $3 a gallon, every one mile per gallon improvement can typically save $50 to $150. Switching from a vehicle that gets 15 miles per gallon to one that gets 25 miles per gallon would likely save over $1,500 a year. And if gas goes up to $3.65 a gallon, then that same change could save over $2,000 a year. You might also consider a hybrid car. If you switch from an SUV to a hybrid sedan, you might save $3,000 a year. And remember, with all of these tips, the more miles you drive, the more money you can save through mileage improvements. Another great way to save is to try other transportation options. Try sharing your commute with friends or colleagues. Carpooling with just one other person will usually cut your commuting costs in half including gas, maintenance, and wear and tear on the car. Many cities promote carpooling or ride sharing, and you may be able to find local websites or resources to make this easy. Using public transportation regularly is usually a lot less expensive than the purchase, gas, and maintenance costs of using a car. It also allows you time to read, work, or talk on the phone instead of sitting in your car on the highway. As we've seen, many options are available, from doing without a car to improving your car's performance. But all of them will save you money, keep the air cleaner, and help reduce the carbon emissions that contribute to global warming.